Hi, my name is Don Sage, and this is my story. I accepted Christ at 21 years old. I was working on an offshore platform, and Thelis Papalopoulos was a 40-year-old man, and I was 21, and here's this 40-year-old. I couldn't believe someone would be so old and get to work in the oil fields, right? And so he comes out there, and we had disdain for him. He was an old man cleaning our drains. Just, I don't know, we were prideful. That became the most important man in my life because he led me to Christ. And he really taught me how to follow Christ. And then about six months later, I was on another rig. And I left that platform filled with the Holy Spirit with one scripture that I'd memorized. So I got sent to this another drilling rig. And on the drilling rig, there is the meanest, most scariest man I've ever, still ever met in my life, Vance Kibbe. He was dangerous. This man was dangerous. He was an oil field guy. I mean, the, the roughest of the rough. And he had heard that I became a Christian. Somewhere he'd found that out. First minute on the drilling rig. I am scared to death just to be on this drilling rig. I walk up to the floor, grab the chain, and he looks at me gets out of his truck and he walks up and everybody stops what they're doing. Everybody looks at Vance Kibbe and he goes, spits, he spit tobacco juice on my feet and looked at me and said, so you're one of those good boys, huh? And all of the guys started laughing. I mean, this, like I was just, this was it. And I was thinking, Wait a minute, I know one scripture. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. And I thought about that. And I thought, I wanted to say, no, no, I'm not a Christian. Kind of like Peter, you know, no, no, I don't know the, I don't know the man. But I said, well, I'm not a good boy. I have accepted Christ and he is my Lord and Savior. Everybody was silent. They just thought Vance was going to rip me up. And he stopped and he just, he looked at me and he looked sad. And he said, you know, I wanted to be a Christian once. And there was this little redheaded girl. And I told God that if he saved her, I would be a Christian. And she died. So I don't want anything to do with God. And it was just such an experience just because I was willing to say Jesus that he opened up and everybody was just so shocked that that was his response. And I worked with him for about five years and I would say he treated me like his son, but he treated his son terribly. He treated me better than his son. I became, we became very close and I certainly showed him the way whether he accepted Christ or not was up to him. But that was that first time when I took a scripture and was able to defend myself and to stand up because God's word doesn't return void, and it didn't.